Hello and welcome to a spooky edition. Um, because we are making a um, ooh, slippery, slimy ghost who's green, who may or may not be in a movie that's currently out at the moment um, about some ghost finders people. Now nah, you've guessed it. I'm making uh, Slimer from Ghostbusters. Now, um, using the same loop aspect, that's why it's in the playlist. So, let's get straight at it. We're going to use a green 260, another green 260, a scrap of yellow, and a scrap of red. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our green, and we're going to do two pinch twists. About a finger in width. Okay. Oh, blimey, not like that. Oh, I've lost. I'm going to be honest. Uh, it's not the first time that's happened. Um, first time today. Right. Let's get that over there. Let's try again, shall we? Right. So, two pinch twists. About one and a half fingers of each. Followed by a four finger width. Now the reason um, we're doing this, and the reason everything's starting off with the same sort of thing, um, is because it's easier to learn a concept and then build off that concept. Um, because say if someone says to you, oh, I want an axolotl, and you turn around and go, can't think about how to make an axolotl. If you can remember how to make the dock, which is where it all started from, you know where the loop is, you know where the second loop is, you know everything from there. Everything builds from it, okay? So, what we're going to do, we've got the loop, four fingers. We're going to do a space bubble, which fits inside of there. Yeah? Which it does. We're going to bring it back out. We're going to do a three finger bubble. This is going to be the top of our head. Now, this is where it differs slightly, okay? Because we're going to make another three-finger bubble, okay? Mm. Yeah, we're then going to come up, do a one-and-a-half-finger bubble, and we're going to do a pinch twist. This is going to hold our eyes together, okay? We're going to take one of our two loops, and we're going to poke it through the bigger loop. Okay, which gives us this aspect. Okay, we're then going to take this, we're going to do about a two finger bubble and come down to the double pinch twist. Get that, get this, give it a squeeze, bit of a position, right, like so. Yeah. Like that. Okay, so this is what we got at the minute. We're then going to put some arms on. So we're going to take another green 260. Could be a 160 if you wished. Yeah, I personally like just to keep. Yeah. I'm, well, I'll say that. I ain't got any green 160. I'll probably need to do an order. Yeah, so we're going to do a pinch twist and a little loop, two fingers. Yeah, we're going to give it a little shot twist. Give it an elbow. We're going to twist it off, yeah, and we know where we're at. We're going to go into that back um, pinch twist there. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So try to marry it up the best you can. Uh, followed by a two finger loop and a pinch twist. This is going to give us the start of our slimy ghost. You could put a hot dog in its hand, or a burger, or something like that. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, I personally wouldn't. The reason is, if you want to spend more time making balloons um, and designs and everything like that, there's better ones out there, yeah? This, and the whole series, is more about 
making balloons that will get the wow factor, but get you out of the line, you know, around sort of five minutes, if not quicker. So we have that at this moment of time. Ooh, spooky. Right. Take our yellow. Two and a half fingers. Two and a half fingers on the other side. Wrap those round. Okay. Now we could pinch twist them. If we so wish. Or I like quite a loose thing. So I've just got the knot and I've literally wrapped it around just to give it a little bit more of a squash down without it actually being a pinch twist. We're going to take our red. Okay, we are going to do, we're going to squeeze it out. It will come apparent in a second why. Yeah, because we're going to want to stretch that out and tie it here. Okay, because we need this bit. We're going to do two small pinch twists. Yeah, so two small bubbles. Wrap that around. Make them into pinch twists. Like that. One slightly bigger than the other. That's normal. Yeah. And it's a ghost anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Take this bit of scrap and this bit. Right. This is where you might start to panic. We're going to get rid of the yellow. Tie that off. We're going to take our eyes, we're going to take this part, and we're going to run it through the eyes. We're going to pull it tight. Which then gives us this. Okay? This bit's running down. We're then going to retake this back out. Because it makes it easier. We're going to take our yellow and red, we're going to run the red through, pull it really tight and around the back of the head at that pinch press. That is going to keep your eyes in position, okay? We're then going to bring this down, give it a squeeze, wrap it around the two loops. I know it seems a lot, yeah? Stick with it, yeah? Then, we're going to position the red against that loop. We're going to want it sitting inside, but we kind of want it a little bit larger because we need the tongue kind of a bit like uh, that, right? So, we then snap that bit off. Tie this off, yeah? It does not look like Slimer. We need this long, okay? Come apparent in a minute. We're then going to put this. <coughs> I don't know why I faced away from you. It's not like you was going to get, <coughs> oh, blimey, hello. Too many hot dogs. We're going to ram everything through. That large loop. We're going to get this little nozzle. We're going to put it through our bottom jaw hoop. And we're going to give it a pull. We're going to go round those pinch twists. Because that keeps that bottom jaw in place. Tidy everything up. You can see we've got our ghost coming in now. Yeah, it's coming into frame. Things are taking shape. Okay, now, you could put this on a flower petal, if you so wished, yeah? You could have it like that, yeah? My only issue is, make it out of blue, it could be a genie, yeah? Make the gold, make it, you know, into the lamp. But, let's it elevate it a little bit more, because you're more than just a basic balloon twister. We're gonna take a black, 260. 
we're going to put two pinch twists in. Yeah? Reasonably sized. Not huge. Like that. Okay, we're going to come across probably a hand and a thumb. Yeah, that's a hand and a thumb mine. Yeah? If we ever meet. Yeah? Shake me by the hand. You'll figure out how big my hand and thumb is. Right. We're going to put another two pinch twists in. So we kind of made a bone. We're going to go back. Round. We're going to do that again. We are making four of these. We made four bananas. Okay? This bit, we're going to keep. We're going to give it a squeeze. Take the end. And we're going to loop it around those pinch twists. So we have that. This is where our arm's going to go, okay? We're going to take a white pen. Not sponsored by Edin, but one of the best white pens you can get. We're going to... Just some basic lines on top. Don't need to be fancy. Remember, this is more about a line work, fast balloon style thing. Okay, we're going to take our um, Slimer. We're going to place him through the trap. Probably shouldn't have put the lines on first. Need to let them dry. Put the lines on after. Um, I forgot that bit. We're going to place him in to the trap. He is now in the trap, being caught. We're going to place our arm through and now we have a wearable ghost in a trap ah, like that how cool is he he's really fast yeah the whole video's only been taking 12 minutes and i've rambled yeah you could make this without a shadow of a doubt within five minutes don't believe me um try it Try it. Just, you know, do it a couple of times and I will promise you, you'll get it down quicker. If you've liked this video, and I'm sure you have. I mean, what isn't there to like? I'm wearing a wonderful shirt. I made a wonderful balloon. Don't forget to click that like. Hit that subscribe so you can find... Oh, blimey. Hello. So you can find me again. Um, I plan to bring out more instructions more regularly. Um... Yeah, that's it really. It kind of helps you find me. It helps It helps YouTube, supposedly, put me in front of more people. And uh, I kind of want that, I'm going to be honest. So if you're enjoying these free videos, do me a favour. Click like, click subscribe. I feel like a proper YouTuber. <laughs>